What is going on, guys? It's Adam A.K. Marf, and this is Marfugal News. Uh, I, I wanted to talk and update you guys on everything that is going on. There is, of course, a, a lot of very strange events happening, and I mean it. Um, right now, there are things going on around the world that people should be paying attention to, uh, but more so things that are happening inside the United States that people really need to be paying attention to. Now, you may have heard about this whole uh, train ordeal that happened. Uh, it actually happened quite a few days ago, uh, but now apparently things are getting worse and worse and worse. And essentially one uh, environmentalist said that the, essentially the, the town in Ohio was nuked. That's how he said it, right? In those words. Um, so we'll talk about that here in a second. Of course, two more trains derail. Uh, is this, you know, are, are we now paying attention to derailments because of this prior event? Uh, I, again, I, I looked at some of the prior events and even talked to Dex. In fact, uh, Dex said, you know, when he was a kid, he actually had a der derailment in his town where uh, literally a truck of Snickers uh, got derailed a truck and they had all the kids come out and help pick up the Snickers from the street. So this is something that happens, uh, but this one in uh, Ohio is not normal. So we'll talk about that. This is really bad. They're saying that it may have uh, gotten some things into water supply uh, as far as 500 miles away. And it basically, uh, 5 million people get their water from this area. Uh, it's big. But there's a lot of questions about what is really happening right now. A lot of people are questioning the narrative. Reporters are getting arrested. All sorts of things are going on. Uh, but first, Pentagon hasn't recovered debris from the three UFOs shot down in Alaska, Canada, and Michigan. So first of all, they basically say there's no debris from any of these events, which I know already there's going to be people going, okay, so, th so they have no proof that these things were actually even taken down. And no, they don't. Or they are not trying to tell us what they actually got. It says the Pentagon still hasn't recovered debris from the UFOs shot down this weekend after the Chinese spy balloon and still don't know what they are, how they're flying, or whether they are a threat to America. I want to point out that now Xi is saying that there's at least 10 of uh, U.S. balloons over their country. Now Taiwan are, is saying that there's dozens of them over their country. Like, what is actually happening right now? Lots of strange things. It says the Pen Pentagon is yet to recover debris from the three UFOs shot down this weekend over Alaska, Canada, and Michigan, and is yet to offer any kind of explanation as to what they are, how they were able to fly, uh, whether they pose a genuine threat to America, or anything else. Since Friday, U.S. fighter jets have struck down three objects flying above Alaska, Canada, and Michigan. Uh, it says on Monday morning, John Kirby, the communications coordinator of the National Security Council, revealed that the U.S. is yet to recover any debris. Now, I want to point out, all over the country, there are jets taking off from their bases. In fact, right after the Canada event, the, the, where the F-22s happened, F-35s were scrambling. Like, uh, multiple uh, states are reporting that their jets are just, like, taking out off out of nowhere. So I just want to look, like, from what the public can see and not from the actual narrative, if you just pay attention, there's, like, a lot of, of, of uh, military air traffic going on. There's jets flying over. I mean, this is st something, like, out of a scene out of this is how it ends, right? Uh, where, you know, he's sitting in the, the high-rise and a jet uh, F-22 flies by and he goes, this isn't normal, something's going on. That's how we feel, like, every day now uh, this week. It's just been absolutely nuts. And they're saying that these balloons are everywhere. Now, they could say uh, that, you know, you could say that we are now looking more often and everybody's looking up. Again, uh, makes me think of don't look up. But, and maybe they are, you know, casting a wider net and that's why they're finding all of these objects. But I'm like, that's BS. If there are really this many objects up there and if they are doing something, then again, we're not getting the truth and people should demand it. Uh, whether it is a distraction. People say it's a distraction to make JB look strong. I don't think they care about if JB looks strong or not after, you know, faltering. I think that that's even the narrative that they're pushing on the sideline. So, you know, the theorists grab that and then think that. I don't think that either. I don't think they care about JB's approval ratings. I don't think they care about any of that at this point. They know that uh, by the next time, there's no chance that I'm sorry, there's no chance JB could run another time. We just know, you know, that's just not possible. 
And it says Taiwan says that dozens of Chinese spy craft uh, across its airspace as tensions flare with the U.S. Taiwan has accused Xi of making dozens of incurs incursions into its airspace with spy balloons similar to the one taken down over the U.S. last week, further contributing to rising tensions as China surrounds Taiwan with military drills. Taiwan's Ministry of De uh, National Defense stated this weekend that China has sent surveillance balloons into its airspace at a rate of roughly one per month for years. It says Taiwan officials uh, believe that the balloons serve to measure atmospheric data that can help improve the accuracy of China's radar and missile systems. Both China and U.S. conducted extensive military drills in the Indo-Pacific region this week. The U.S. Navy and Marine Corps held joint exercises. China is now surrounding Taiwan for another series of military exercises that echoes its unprecedented buildup. Now, they haven't told us that that actual exercise for the U.S. with the Marines and the U.S. Navy has actually officially ended. They're not putting much data about that. They said they're doing this. Drills and exercises are a good way to put in a whole lot of troops and a whole lot of military somewhere without causing a huge amount of alarm. In our history, they have used these events to move massive amounts of troops. Uh, uh, take Vlad, for instance. He ended up putting 160,000 uh, troops on the border, and they did start by the time they ended up starting, like, you know, noticing and saying, hey, this is not right, something doesn't seem right. He then reversed and goes, haha, just kidding, this is a drill when it was actually the prep and the preparing for uh, the what came next, which was going into UKR, right? He, but I, at that point, he brought in all of his military gear, uh, all of the personnel, 160,000 soldiers, and then they set up mobile hospitals. They started ordering blood. These are the things you look for before a conflict. Again, when they started actually moving you know, blood uh, samples and things like this for injured and, and people on the front line, when you see blood and things like that start moving, that's when you start paying attention. And again, that happened a year later, right before they invaded. And that's why we told you, we said, you know, right before it happened, we said, this is actually going to happen. Uh, the same thing is happening here with Xi and surrounding the islands. They're setting up these weird, uh, and I haven't heard anybody covering this, but they set up these like buoy things with supplies. Uh, also, their ghost navy, as far as that goes, I'll talk about that later on tonight's show on Marfugal TV. But as far as this goes, it's basically saying that these, these things are all over the place. Is this a distraction for what has now gone down? And virtually no one was covering for the first thing. We covered it the second it happened. We also said that this is really weird. We also said it was just like the movie White Nose, Noise on uh, Netflix. If you haven't seen White Noise, go look at White Noise and then go look at the actual uh, newspaper clippings of what is going on here and even the press conferences uh, they, they basically have, you know, uh, similarities to what's going on right now in real life in, uh, of course, Ohio. It says a hazardous material specialist urged all residents of East Palatine, Ohio, U.S. to have a health checkup after the derailment on February 3rd that caused toxic contamination. Animals are getting sick and perishing in a town which has been basically nuked. That was his quote. Uh, it says when a train carrying hazardous chemicals derailed, sending up a toxic plume. And by the way, I tweeted out, yeah, at first in the movie White Noise, they called it a featherly plume. And then uh, they talk about it in comedy and they, they said, oh, now it's been up upgraded to a black billowing cloud. Well, it's definitely a black billowing cloud. If you've seen the videos, uh, that entire area is covered with this just this muck. Uh, they have videos from local news agencies showing fish floating to the surface. Uh, this is attached to... Uh, the Ohio River. Again, this is something is not right here. It says uh, a West Virginia water utility is enhancing its water treatment process as a precaution following the incident, which saw about 50 cars uh, derailing in a fiery crash on February 3rd. Uh, it says vinyl chloride was released into the air from five of those cars before crews ignited it to get rid of the highly flammable toxic chemicals in a controlled environment which is funny because I believe they did that in White Noise as well. They see a boom and they said, oh, they're just trying to burn it and get rid of it, right? It says a specialist in hazardous materials has now alarmed the community about the situation and has urged all local residents to get a health checkup. The, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency has confirmed the presence of ethylene glycol monobutyl uh, ether exahexyl wessel isolate something else I can't say and isobutylene in the rail cars that have been involved in this uh, in this crash. 
Uh, it says Mr. Cogliano has highlighted the potential dangers of ethyl acetate, uh, which has a car uh, carcinogen and can cause skin and eye irritation. I mean, this is like this is like playing out exactly like white noise. And I mean, if you talk about predictive programming, holy moly, man. Uh, speaking of which, I thought it was funny. Adam Driver in that movie, who, again, I don't think, you know, every household knows his name. I don't think you guys probably know uh, exactly who that is. But he was in White Noise as the main character. He randomly got a Super Bowl commercial. You know that those are like the top of the top household name celebrities that everybody knows about. Uh, he ended up being in a random uh, Super Bowl commercial. I thought that was pretty interesting. But uh, again, just all this weird stuff about right, uh, white noise and, and all of the different crazy symbolism out there. And then it says, moreover, the expert warned that it's possible that some of these substances could still be uh, present in homes and objects until they're cleaned thoroughly. And then, of course, two more trains uh, came off the tracks after the, this big chemical spill. It says nearly two weeks after an Ohio train uh, resulted in dangerous chemicals being released into the air, two more trains actually back-to-back -back on Monday uh, came off the track. It said on Monday morning in Montgomery County, Texas, emergency crews responded to a, a railment, and a man driving an 18-wheeler was hit by a train and perished. An 18-wheeler was dragged half a mile down the tracks, a total of 15 cars. So I don't know if the first one was a, a train but, uh, or a, 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 a truck getting hit. But just remember, uh, you know, of course, somebody perished. Nobody's going to voluntarily just drive into one of these things. But I, I do question with, with what kind of uh, stuff they have now. If somebody, an adversary, wanted to cause a huge ruckus in our country, uh, these are like, you know, these are very very big accidents that could literally do an extreme amount of harm to us and nobody to blame. So that's not what I'm saying it is, but again, I think people should be questioning everything, especially with what's going on. Uh, one of the, the reporters that was actually covering the briefing ended up getting arrested, and it was just really... All, 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 all sorts of people are now starting to ask questions like, what is actually going on here? Um, people have mentioned that they've related this to a, like a Chernobyl-type thing, where Chernobyl was happening, and they basically told everybody it was okay, they told citizens it was okay, and then later on, it ended up not being so okay. Besides all of this, well, all of this is going on. I do want to remind people, uh, if you don't have water, make sure to stock up on water. It's just, it's simple. It's, it's one of the easiest and most uh, affordable things to get out of all the things that prep needs. Get water. Look at all of the folks that probably don't have it right now and are, you know, in Ohio questioning if they can drink it. For many of us, we've been not drinking tap water or any kind of water coming out of the taps for a long time. And if you look into it and you really do your own research, I'm sure you'll find out you should be doing the same. But you should have extra water right now, especially. Uh, as far as all of the other events going on, if you catch up on our main show, Marfugal TV, you will see a whole lot of stuff. I'd highly recommend also getting some backup power supplies. If you want to go through us, you can go and get one of the best solar generators. Go to marfugalnews.com slash energy, I-N-E-R-G-Y. Again, that not only helps us out, but you get a big discount and you can end up backing up your power. Uh, the, who knows what's happening next? Again, there's a lot of really, really, really strange things happening, and I don't believe anything that is coming out. Of course, everything that I just covered could be backwards from the truth. We don't know. That's why you question everything. You ask the people around you, say, hey, does this sound right? Does this Is this okay? Because nothing is right right now. It, uh, other uh, military members are saying they, they believe that we are about to kick off a massive conflict, but that's, again, speculation uh, from ex and uh, current military members. As far as then I hear from other military members that are currently serving, they say it's very calm, <clears throat> that they're hanging out at the base uh, doing stuff. And then I hear from other military members, they said that they did drills on Super Bowl Sunday, which is very odd, uh, which... Again, I don't know what it's like to be uh, in the military on a Super Bowl Sunday, but uh, I, think, I think that it probably shows where we're at right now. Uh, whether this is all orchestrated or a circus and the balloons are all a distraction, I guess more so all of us, if it's a distraction, if it's this big of one, then everybody should be prepared because we don't know what's about to happen next. And either way, even if nothing blows up, even if no event happens, they're try they are telling us absolutely they're going to change the way we live in the next seven years. So pay attention to everything going on around you. 
Make sure to go over to marfuglenews.com where I've put every single article, tweet, video, picture, document that I re referenced here, including uh, all sorts of uh, different videos that are attached to uh, these different articles. So make sure to go check those out, marfuglenews.com. Thank you, everybody, for joining. And again, uh, make sure to share this out far and wide and join us on our other channel in a few minutes here over on Marfugal TV. Our sister channel uh, over there has a two-hour live show. We will be on shortly. We'll see you guys in a bit. Be safe, be prepared, and Marf out.